e ka bo sori ikone osanla tv oruko temi ni adejo keku nse ba bi a se nwo gbogbo awon video ti a mu wa si eti igbo yin lolokun jo kan e ma gbagbe lati ba wa like subscribe ki e ba wa comment down in the section box below bi a se nse leyi abolodu mari a wa pelu yin o why do you insist on becoming the president of nigeria well uh, first of all uh, let me start from a uh, private perspective I have many kids, children. I brought them up well, sent them to the best schools, both within Nigeria and outside. As I normally tell them, I have lived my life. But if I should bring them all back home, what kind of a country am I going to live for them? I think this thinking that I have is a thinking behind every parent in this country what kind of a country am i going to live for my kids is it a better country than i found it or not this is one of the reasons behind my perseverance uh, you know to run for the office of this country not only for my kids but for the future generation of this country everybody's kids the message I have for Nigerians at this point in time, vote out the APC. Compare our records. Nigerians have absolutely no reason to vote for APC. Well, there are multiple candidates this time around. About Let us be realistic. Where is labor in this country? Where is the structure? Where is, where is labor? No single member of uh, local government, no state assembly, no house of representatives, no senate, no governor, no local government chairman, no nothing. Fine, they are starting. It's not bad to start. But you cannot start and at the same time be at the top. But there seems to be popular among the youth. Okay. Let the youth vote for them. Is their right? Are you sure that you're going to, to win? You have a chance of you know, winning? This time around, I think I'm giving it my best shot and my all in all. And I'm confident. So what happens if you lose? That's... My fate, I take it in very good faith. Now, there are fears uh, or rumors uh, around your health status that I've been going around for treatment out of the country. Can you address that? I don't go for any major treatment abroad other than normal medical checkup. The only medical uh, problem I have was, if you recall, in 20, uh, 2006, in an election year like this, I tripped from staircase, you know, and injured uh, my knee. And I went for, to Germany uh, for a treatment. I didn't have any fracture. I, didn't, I just have what they call a tendon rupture. And then the tendon was brought back and ensued. That's the only sickness I have. And if the electoral uh, authority says we should produce our medical report, I'm ready to produce my medical report. In essence, are you saying that if you win the election, you're not going to travel out of the country for any form of medical attention? As long as whatever medical attention I require is available in the country, uh, I will avail myself of that facility. But if it is not available, what do you want me to do? To sit down and die? As the president, you'll be, of course, you're, you're, you have all the... Uh, which will, to which is going, to be, which is going to be cheaper for me uh, to, to bring in uh, medical personnel from abroad and equipment or to, to fly in and out or whichever is cheaper for the country. That's what I'm going to do. The APC wants you disqualified and <laughs> this, this is of course based on um, a leaked audio um, alleging that was your voice admitting to some corrupt um, practices. What can you say about that? Well, all what I know, all corrupt practices or corrupt allegations against me have been investigated in this country more than anybody else, and, and nothing was found against me. Well, this is a new audio. Was that your voice or not? And that audio has disclosed nothing new. It's not your voice? Nothing new. All the regions in Nigeria are facing one security challenge or the other. There is insurgency, banditry, farmer edda clashes. I can, I can go on and on. So what plans do you have? Uh, when it comes to you know, security, if you win the election? Well, uh, there are uh, a number of approaches, you know, we have designed as, uh, as a party and also as a presidential candidate. Uh, one of them is uh, more boots on the ground, more equipment and more training. Uh, the second aspect uh, of that 
is also to consider creating state police where necessary and uh, so that you can have more levels of policing at various levels, at the state level, at the local government level, at the federal level. Okay, see, the country's economy is also struggling at the moment and uh, there is a high inflation rate which is hurting many Nigerians. Can you talk to me about your economic strategy? Well, we have said that one of our major economic plans is uh, how do we get you know, uh, massive private sector involvement in, in our economy. In other words, uh, getting the private sector really to, uh, to come in and pump as much investment as possible by giving them a lot of incentives. And of course, um, the, the second aspect of it is to make sure that we devolve you know, more powers to the states and also the local government by reducing you know, the size of the federal government. Every investor wants a secure environment. That's why you know, in my five-point program, you will see that security is topmost. You know, first of all, we must make sure that we restore security. Once we are able to do that, and then we give the private sector incentives uh, to come in you know, and invest in the country, you will see how massively they will come. Nobody will ignore a large market in Nigeria. This is one of the, or the largest market on the continent of Africa. Asset strike is a recurring problem. So what are you going to do to address the issues around funding of universities to, you know, reduce... I, I believe we strikes? have the capacity to fund uh, universities to, uh, to the barest minimum. Uh, and then particularly is, is all on the issue of, uh, you know, payment or delayed payment of salaries, I think is recklessness and, and lack of leadership. Um, Nigeria can afford to pay its lecturers in time and good pay for that matter. And you're confident that if you win the election, there will not be any form of ASU strike? I will sit down with ASU and we will sort it out. Civil society organizations have been calling uh, for candidates to declare their assets and liabilities. Are you willing to... I have always done that. I have always done that. And the only thing is that, um, uh, you know, uh, the law doesn't provide that we should make it public. If the law says we should make it public, I will make it public. For the sake of transparency, and because you're always clamor for change, don't you want to be the change you're preaching? I don't mind. I can, I can produce it. I mean, it is there. They have been there. I will produce them. So we produce it this time around. Is this something we can hold you to? Why not? Women and youths have continue to be sidelined in the affairs of Nigeria. What role would they be playing if you win? I have already uh, given a policy statement on youth and women participation uh, in, in, in government. And um, uh, it is uh, uh, quite uh, disappointing that particularly on the side of women, despite all the incentives we give as a political party, free this, free that, and this and that, so much quota for women, they don't come forward. Even when we, we make uh, you know, opportunities easier for them, they don't seem to be coming forward. So I think maybe it's a stage of our development. We you say they're not really coming forward, or the system is not viable enough for them to thrive. For example, the outgoing lawmakers uh, abandoned, or, you know, abandoned about five gender bills, and then the House of Representatives promised that they were going to reconsider three of them. Until now, they have not even uh, announced that uh, the three bills in, in the House of Representatives. If I get there, I will make them move. Is that a promise? Yeah, it's a promise. I'm very, very particular about gender, you know, um, equality and gender participation. Okay. The, uh, I am pro-gender. I remember you promising that if you win and at the end of your tenure, you would hand over power to the youth. What is the promise on that and how viable do you think... If the youth like come gender? forward, supposing they don't come forward, do you think the because system? you hardly find a young man who will contest an election once, twice, and contest again the third time. It requires perseverance, it requires consistency, and it requires patience.